Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Nice, and I'm bringing you a math lesson today. First, I want to show you our objective. That means what we are learning today. We will use doubles and near doubles to add efficiently. I highlighted that word doubles. Do you remember what doubles means from last year? I want you to think. Okay, all right. Topic one essential question is, what are the strategies for finding addition and subtraction facts? So today, friends, for our lesson, what I need for you to get is a whiteboard and a marker. Our solvent share is not going to be in our workbook. In fact, we're not using our workbooks today. We're going to use our whiteboards and our markers. So today, I would like for you to start our lesson I want you to write a doubles fact. What do you think a doubles fact is? Write that on your board. I'm going to write a doubles fact. Okay. Did you write something? Okay, I'm going to show you what I wrote. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Did you write something like that? I'm going to show us our video. We're going to get a little more information about doubles. This is a doubles fact. 2 plus 2 equals 4. How do you know when the cubes show a doubles fact? The number of blue cubes is the same as the number of green cubes. How do you know when an addition equation shows a doubles fact? What do you notice about these numbers here? This add-in and this add-in. What do you notice? The add-ins are the same. How does the picture show this is a doubles fact? Every cube in this group has a partner in this group. This is not a doubles fact. 2 plus 1 equals 3. How do the picture of the cubes and the equation show that this is not a doubles fact? What do you notice here, friends? If you look at number, this number two, there's two cubes. Over here, you have one cube. One cube. These are partners. But this guy doesn't have a partner. And these add-ins are different. Let's look here. Drag each blue cube from the mat to the top row of the 10 frame. Then drag each green cube from the mat to the bottom row of the 10 frame to find the sum. Okay, so I'm going to grab some blue cubes and I'm going to drag them over. One, two, three. Now this gives me an equation down here. I don't have any green cubes. So three, one, two, three plus zero equals three. Is that a doubles fact? No. But if I grab the same number of green cubes and drag them over, 3 plus 3, I have the same add-ins and they all have partners. That's a doubles fact. I'm going to drag some more blue cubes over. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blue cubes. But I only have 3, 1, 2, 3 green cubes. That gives me a total of 8. These two don't have partners. That's not a doubles fact. Now if I bring these two cubes over, I have 5 blue cubes. And one, two, three, four, five green cubes. I have the same add-in. That gives me a 10. That's a doubles fact. Every cube does not have a partner. The add-ins are not the same. Let's look at this doubles fact. One plus one equals two. 
Saying one plus one is the same as saying double one. So double one is two. Think of doubles when both add ends in an equation are the same. Now you know what doubles are and how to make them. Okay, boys and girls, so now we're going to build our anchor chart together. We're going to write down our doubles facts. I'm going to start with the number zero. And I'm going to write two zeros as an add-in. What do you think my sum will be if I have two zeros as an add-in? My sum's going to be zero. I'm going to try that with one. If one is my first add-in and I'm doing a double spec, one's going to be my second add-in. If I add them up, one plus one, that equals two. Now I'm going to use two. And I'm going to use another two as an add-in. I'm going to go to three now. All right, who can tell me what three plus three is? One, two, three, four, five, six. I go to four. Now it's five. Let's add up five and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do seven. And those are our doubles fact. I'm going to play a fun song for you. It's actually a rap about doubles. You may have heard it last year, but I want you to hear it again in case you didn't. Equals eight. That's great. Five plus five equals ten. 
triple ten again. It's a double, baby. Here we go. Here we go. It's a double, baby. You can stop with zero. Six plus six equals twelve. Twelve. Seven plus seven equals twelve. Let's play. Eight plus eight equals sixteen. Now I mean nine plus nine equals eighteen. Get it? Eight. Ten plus ten equals twenty. Twenty. That. 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 That's funny. It's a double, baby. Here we go. Here we go. It's a double, baby. We can start with zero. Whoa. I love that little rap. That's so much fun. Now let's look at some doubles problems here. Let's look at number one. Number one. Number one here says eight plus eight. So that those are the same numbers in our adding. So that means they're doubles. So I'm going to try eight plus eight. And I want you to write that on your whiteboard. Eight plus eight. Now let's draw, let's draw eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to draw eight more circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count them up together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. My answer is sixteen. Now, number two. Number two is three plus three. So let's write that on your board. Three plus three. Okay. Now let's draw our circles. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? Let's add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Equals six. Okay, now I want you to try the other two problems on your own. After you're done that, I want you to create your own math problems. I had a wonderful math lesson with you today. Have a great day. Bye.